Hello and welcome to this overview of Data Protector options. I'm Uli Walscheid and Product Manager for Data Protector, and I will be talking about our reporting server. So starting with Data Protector 10.10, we introduced an advanced reporting server option, which is available for Data Protector users. It snaps into the Data Protector dashboard and shows you resource consumption, performance data, uh, predictive outlook, and many more information. Also, service level agreement information like recovery point objectives and recovery time objectives. Data Protector comes with built-in reporting, which is mainly text-based and uh, gives you some historical information. Reporting server allows you for much broader and more intelligent is display of all the resources that data protection is using. It also allows you to look into future uh, situations and enables you to do better planning of your resources. It's like having an administrator already built into the product. Reporting server is installed on a dedicated Windows or Linux machine because it needs its own resources and it can actually report on multiple data protector cell measures at the same time. Reporting server has been built to support administrators in their day-to-day -day life because a lot of information is produced uh, during backups and important decisions have to be made from here like using resources, using backup devices, and fine-tuning the overall situation. For that, you need historical and also forward-looking information, so uh, much more information that is on analysis and optimization. So save time and stay informed. The typical use cases for Data Protector Reporting Server is customers looking for optimization, cost reduction, prioritization and optimization. Also checking on uh, service level agreements and their status and also chargeback information. Many of our customers also need to look at compliance information like uh, success rates and general consolidation in large installations is also a very important use case for reporting server. Reporting server is grouped into several uh, sections, and I'm just naming a couple here, like uh, configuration reports, compliance reports, especially also advanced reports. On the right-hand side, you can see uh, data protector reporting server being integrated into the same data protector GUI. It automatically syncs up with the information of one or many cell managers and it has an own internal database to cover all that data. Reporting data can of course be uh, exported and imported for, for many reasons, and information can be sent out by email in certain formats. You can also make certain reports a favorite, which makes them show up on the very first landing page. Some examples for reporting server like session flow, which gives you a lot of information about what's going on during backup sessions. It gives you certain status information over a dedicated time frame, and it will mark individual items not fitting the SLA specs uh, right immediately. Also a very important uh, reports on media usage and media can be of course, everything that data protector supports in terms of whatever virtual or physical tapes, even cloud devices, deduplication appliances, and so on. Media statistics give you an uh, overview of uh, how effective you are actually using those backup targets. And like I said, Data Protector also provides you with some uh, transfer size or other predictions so you can better plan your resource consumption, not only for the capacity being moved, but also stored and optimized so um, administrators have early warning information about uh, the kind of usage of their backup targets. In a backup as a service scenario, you may want uh, information like chargeback and, and individual consumption of resources per client or per group. So this is done in the so-called chargeback report. Session success will make sure that you have compliance information coming in regularly. Uh, sessions uh, not being successful are clearly identified from here. And you also see statistical information about how many times the session failed and uh, also most probably what the reason is behind that. 
We also provide session statistics in in certain different way, so that in a backup as a service scenario, administrators can actually check on individual consumption and create bills for all those resources. If you have an environment made of multiple cell managers and they are grouped in a so-called manager of managers arrangement, reporting server can actually create combined reports of those cell manager groups. You have a couple of options to fine tune reporting server and the way it reports. So some of them are shown here. Most importantly, uh, you will select the information source where your uh, information is uh, coming from. Timeframes are selectable. You also have different ways of showing information like in a graphical or in a tablet view. And of course, you have uh, information for help and, and download and email on the right hand side. We offer a number of usual output formats that uh, data can be exported either into a file or emailed out to different places. Information will be displayed in typical Office formats. Now, some typical reporting server options are usage of the REST API. So obviously, uh, data can be extracted via the GUI and certain export functionality. If a backup as a service or other construction is used, then customers may want to read directly from reporting server and use that in many different ways. This is where we have the REST API looking at reporting server to extract information at any point in time. So please check the link at the bottom of the screen to find more documentation on how the REST API is used. Further documentation is provided on uh, the MicroFocus uh, web pages, especially on a system we call DocOps. You also find support statement and background information about reporting server in, in this area. Now summarizing what we just seen, uh, data protective reporting server adds a certain level of intelligence to the usual kind of backup and disaster recovery procedure. It provides you both historical and future looking data to make life easier for administrators in terms of their business planning and also the technical planning behind it. It allows for identification of resources being over or underutilized and supports the planning process of those resources. Thank you very much for your time and I wish you a nice day.